Mal kurz. Gentlemen, and welcome to the Tony Commander J. Arok book by Chesson Morning Tour Talk Show Morning Show. Today it's good to be here, and we're going to get into our lesson right away because I've been running a little late this morning. I was checking out my volume and things because uh, I went offline yesterday. So that I'm back. Let's start my show. Good morning. As you can see, I have three points listed on my or this morning what is patriotism what is loyalty what is libemanism uh, i want to explain these things in, in depth because we hear among our like young liberian people oh patriotism patriot we hear about loyalty loyalty we hear about government we hear about liberianism what do all of these things mean to us you see our society and our country it's so takes functional. Now I listened to Sonny Boy uh, Smith this morning talking from Liberia and he talking about how attempts are being made against Darius Dillon's life, uh, how George we are one to kill this boy. And, you know, these are things we're not supposed to be talking about in our country. Talking uh, uh, casually about how our president won't kill people. This is savagery. This is backwards. And it's sad that in our country today, our youth and young people are talking these things, still about killing people, still about ruling our government with dysfunctionality. Talking about the president is all right, he must stay there for, for why we gotta change him. These are the ignorant things our young people are talking. And you know, they have to know that our country means more than that only to them, to every Liberia. So let's talk about this, okay? What is patriotism? Patriotism is a love like no other love. It's a love just like our father and mother's love. But this love is for our country. We didn't hear nobody else using this word, patriotism, to mean anything else but our country and their love for our country. This is the only time we use patriotism. We don't use patriot to say, I'm not, you're not saying, oh, I'm, I'm a patriot to my father, I'm a patriot to my mother. No, you're not saying that. You say, I'm patriot to my country, of my country. So this is a great love that is above all other love. And where does this, does this love come from? This love comes from our constitution. Because that's the only thing that tells us who we are. That's the only thing that brings to life the Republic of Liberia. There's nowhere else you hear our, our country called Liberia except in the constitution of Liberia that gives us our name, that give us our governmental system. That's why we always say the Constitution gives life to our country, gives life to our system of government. And that's where our patriotism lies. Nowhere else, when you talk about my country, the only thing that recognizes you and your country is your Constitution, which is the agreement among all the people in the country that come together and we sign it. It's not a joke. When they make the Constitution, all are going to sign it. That is called ratification. I told you that yesterday. All of us got to sign that contract. So from that contract, Liberia is born. Because all of us agree, this is what we will do. Liberia is born. Our citizenship is born. Because nowhere else will tell you who a citizen but the Liberian constitution. 
the but Nigeria Constitution gives our legislature the power to determine who are citizens of Liberia. So, patriotism is like no other love we ever find anywhere else. Because patriotism only refers to your love for your country, which is the love of your constitution. So, when we love our constitution, when we love, when we have patriotism for our country, we follow our constitution to the letter. We do what our country, constitution tell us. Our constitution does not say just we should stay there for 12 years, 15 years, 20 years. No. The longest he can stay there are the, the years or the terms expressly placed in the articles in the constitution of Liberia. If the constitution says he stays there, he got two terms. If he win one, he can run for the other one and win. That's 12 years. It's not guaranteed. If you win the first term, you are guaranteed six six years. Yes, the second term depends on your ability to appease the Liberian people to the point where they will vote for you. See, Liberian people, we determine our constitution. You see America today with Donald Trump. You see all the evil things Donald Trump doing. Americans sitting down and waiting for his term to expire. They're taking him to court on some of their things and winning it too. But the main thing everybody sitting down saying, well, let wait the December or November we'll vote and get him out of office. Then we'll punish him. Because there are certain times you can't punish the president. That's why we gotta ensure that this man does not run for another thing. And the same thing with Liberia. That's where our patriotism lies. Our patriotism is not to George Weah or Jefferson Koji or to anybody else, not to Ellen Johnson Sallif. You have never heard Chesson talking about loyalty to Ellen Johnson Sallif or Ben and I, Yuri, or, or anybody else? No, because I'm a patriot of Liberia. And I, as a patriot, I know all of these people wanting to leave my country are guilty of crimes against the Liberian people. Ben and I, Yuri, Joe Borkard and Ellen Cummings, all of them. Ellen Cummings, he sat in Liberia under Ellen Johnson Sallif. All those corrupt years when his children were perpetrating nepotism and corruption in our country, and he said nothing. Same thing with Ben and I, Yuri, sat there, stole all our money. Look at Borka, the longest reigning man in our country, from government to government to government. He's not capable to lead our country. No. We need new blood. We need new life in our country. We recycle the same politician over and over, and they're not getting us anywhere because they are all corrupt. They are all involved with the nepotism and corruption in our country. They all live there in that stench and did nothing to clean up our country. Can't follow those people. So that's patriotism. I'm a patriot. I'm only loyal to Liberia and the Liberian Constitution, what our laws say. And if George Weah is deaf for 12 years, for six years, that's the amount of time he gets. After the two terms, it's not finished. He can't go for no more, whether we want him there or not. That's our laws. And once we love our laws and our country, we stand above all other things. Because patriotism tells us who we are and what we are and what we love for our country rests on the constitution that we put together to protect people from tyrants, from kings, queens, from oligarchs, and from every negative thing that is against our constitutional democracy. So that's patriotism. That's the only thing patriotism ever refers to, is to your love, for your country and the constitution that binds it and makes it a republic. Okay. Let's talk about loyalty. What differentiates loyalty from patriotism? Patriotism is only for the country. You will never use patriotism, that word patriotism, you will never use it to mean anything else about your love for your country and your constitution. Loyalty, loyalty can refer to anybody. You can be loyal to your organization. 
You can be loyal to the president. You can be loyal to uh, your parents. You can, you can be loyal to anybody. Your friends, you can be loyal to your friends. But where loyalty combines with patriotism, and they fall in one category where you say patriotism and loyalty, those are the same words interchangeably. But it's just that patriotism is more profoundly used to refer to our country and our constitution. When you mix loyalty with patriotism and say, I'm patriot, I'm a lawyer, like being a citizen, you have played loyalty out of every other realm and placed it on a higher realm with patriotism. That loyalty connected to your patriotism is unlike any other loyalty to your president, to your mind and power, to anybody else. Because patriotism is your love for your country. Loyalty is your devotion to serve and honor your country. So those things are placed above every other thing. Then the president and all that, because the president, your loyalty can be withdrawn. If the president is supposed to live up to certain standards, and he out there ripping all our young girls. He out there sleeping with every woman he sees. He out there stealing, drinking, lying, and everything. His loyalty can be taken away by the people that love him. Say, no, 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 this is too much. We can't do that. But you see, you can't take your loyalty from your country. If you take your loyalty from your country, you are a traitor. If you take your loyalty from your country, you are a traitor. You betray your country and you should be charged for treason because loyalty to your country is higher than loyalty to anything else under the sun. So that's the difference. You can be loyal to anything and anybody. But when loyalty is attached to patriotism, it's about any other kind of loyalty and love. So, you see, we are today, he has lost the loyalty and support of many of the CDCs, the youth. You see, all the other parties today, they have lost the confidence of the Liberian people. That's why our country is so confused and mixed up, because our leaders have failed to understand their duties and responsibilities to the Liberian people. Most of the loyalty and love we have for them we are taking it from them. You know, we are confused. Our country is confused. They don't know who to trust now. Our youth are confused. You know? So now that we talk about the two, let's talk about Liberianism. What is Liberianism? Liberianism rests on our principles of patriotism and loyalty that we have for our country, which is seen as the loyalty and love we have for the people under the constitution of the Republic of Liberia. Liberianism flows from the constitution of the Republic of Liberia. These three points flow from our constitution, our love. The only thing that differs is loyalty. Loyalty can be given to anything, but when you attach loyalty and patriotism, Together, they are above every other legal duty and representation and, 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 and principles you have for the Republic of Liberia. It is above all others. So that way you got to understand it. You, know, you can be loyal to George Weah, but your patriotism to Liberia surpasses your love for George Weah, where you, he has to face the consequences of his action the constitutionality of his performance. And no matter how you like a man, you gotta weigh his actions, especially those actions that impact the lives and livelihood of the Liberian people. The ripping of our children, the dysfunctional leadership of our country, the massive corruption and stealing amongst officials of government. All of those things bring us to disdain them and take away our loyalty from them. And the only loyalty we, we cannot relinquish or give up is the loyalty attached to our patriotism that makes us like
So what is Liberianism? Liberianism is the understanding of our leaders and our people that our nation and resources are the prime benefits. Yes. They are the prime benefits of the people. We are the beneficiaries of everything in our country or everything that we build and that we grow. One man cannot come and take it. One group of people don't own it. All of us own it. And Liberianism falls under the same concept of the Constitution, where we the people, the Liberian people, and we deserve to enjoy the resources and benefits of our country above and beyond any other people in our nation and borders. Just like Joe, we are appointing Nigerians and all these things to be heading the, the election commission, all those things. Those are in violations of our, of, of our interests and benefits for Liberian people. Our system is corrupt and useless. All our leaders are warlords and criminals, most of them. This cannot persist. This is not Liberianism. This is evil against the Liberian people. Our leaders in power, not sending the children to public schools, but sending them to private schools and not paying attention to our public schools and building it up for the rest of the children in Liberia is a crime. It's against Liberianism. When you're in a plane, for all of you who have power, when the air attendant is talking to the people, one of the first briefings she gave you, is there any problem in a plane when the air mass drop? If the air atmosphere is not good in the plane, the air mass will drop for people to put it on. If you gotta put it on to help your little children or something, you put your own first. I don't care who's sitting next to you, you got to help. You put your own first. Why? Because if you don't put yours on first, if there are fumes or, uh, or, or, or air coming through that cabin that is unconducive to human life, you could be succumbed while attending to other people before putting on your mask. You don't survive. You can't help nobody else. So when I think when the air drop, you put yours on first, make sure you're able to breathe, then you turn around and help everybody as much as you can. You'll be able to help more people that way than you tending to help people without protecting yourself first. You always protect yourself. And this is where Liberianism comes in. We gotta put on our masks first before we can help anybody else in our country or around us. We are Liberian people. If there are jobs and benefits in our country, Liberian people get it first before anybody. We think about our country first before anything else. And these are the things that make us strong in our, and viable in building our country and ourselves as people, as men and women with pride and dignity and love of a constitutional democracy. So these three words, when they come together, they rest on our constitution. They rest on who we are and what we are as people of the West African Republic of Liberia. Do we love our country? Are we loyal, strictly to our country in the highest realm? above self, above individuals, above parties, above everything. Are we loyal to Liberia and the Liberian constitution above every other thing in our lives? Will we take our time to evaluate the actions of our government vision in congruence with our constitution? Are they behaving in congruence with the, with the, with the, with the messages and, and with the articles and provisions of our constitution? Are they fulfilling their duties to protect our society, to protect our women, to protect our system of democracy? Where one man has one vote, where we have a duty to protect every Liberian within our society and promote their interests above all. Are we doing those things? 
are our leaders in the forefront protecting our rights and interests as they should. For too long, we've been talking about Liberian racism, patriotism, we've been talking about loyalty, but we have not lived up to these words or the virtues. When we talk about the are, we have to understand that you cannot be Liberian by yourself. I cannot be Liberian by myself. All of us are into this thing together. All of us are Liberians together. What are, forget about our country and native things. When we come together, we, 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 I look at you, I don't see no country on your face. And why even help us more as Liberian people? Many of our tribes do not mark each other on the face. We mark each other on the backs and things like that in the body, yeah. But you look at Liberian, you will not see a Liberian. Some tribes do it, but the real Liberian masters of the tribe don't mark their faces. So when you see Liberian, you really don't know what tribe or village or team that that person come from. We are a different breed of people. And that's what makes our country so great, unified. You know, we got our cultural roots, but we still have one Liberian culture. And all of us know our culture, no matter where you come from. When something happens, we say, no, they're not Liberian people did that, man. No, we don't expect that, because we know our culture. And our culture is not to come down and rip women and rip young boys and all the kind of, Those are people from up country and different places we don't know about. Because I never knew tribe of people could rip each other like that, rip men and things like that. I thought that was something from the West. But I can't tell you now because George we had and I come with all this weird thing in our society. So everybody just going crazy now. We're talking about homosexualism and having uh, homosexual sex with young boys in Liberia, underage children, like they're talking about drinking coffee or something like that. That's horrible. It's horrible, and that's our future. So as Liberian people, we have to understand. When we look at these three words, it's patriotism, what is loyalty? And what is Liberianism? That throws at us the idea of responsibility, of love, fair and equal justice for our people and ourselves. And we have to pay attention to these words we use because all of them have defined and serious meanings. You know, and we understand, especially patriotism. Without patriotism, we have nothing. We have nothing. I mean, we have a disrespect for our constitution, for our laws, for everything that means something to us. We can't continue. My young Liberian children, you got a challenge before you. You got a grave challenge. And you have to understand that if you don't stand on strong foundations of knowing and understanding the things that are political in nature, the things that are deceptive in nature. Politics is a game of deceit and, and treachery. If you want to play that game, you better know how to play that game strong. Because if you are an honest man and you believe in our constitution and laws, and if you want to follow through with those things that gain the popularity for our people, from our people for you, for their lives and their livelihood, you have to understand you, there are problems and issues you have to deal with. There are teachings you have to pass on to our people. Leadership is not an easy task. It's not about power alone. It's about teaching. And one of the big greatest things that can help our people is learning and understanding basic foundations of politics and what it means. These three words up here, these three questions I ask, what is patriotism, what is loyalty, and what is Liberianism, touches upon every aspect of who we are. Our love for our country and our 
loyalty to our country is above all others. All of those rest on our constitution that tells us who we are, what we are, and what our country and laws are all about, making us. So Liberianism, love for each other. It's the love that comes, that flows from our patriotism and our loyalty to the Republic of Liberia. It flows within us to the masses of our people as leaders of our country. It flows to us as citizens of Liberia, understanding that on our constitution and law, we are all equal and fair and judged and the law people. So once we understand all these things, and how great our constitutional and laws are to us, are to ensuring the peace and unification, the co-equal existence amongst our people. We know that our country is a great nation, and we are a great people when we stand on the principles of Liberianism, patriotism. As it is done for the day, when you take these three points and know their importance and significance to our nation and people, as youth, you have a responsibility to learn the, 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 the symbols and the, the pledges and the teachings that make our nation a unified, a great and powerful nation and people. We are a great nation and people. And we have to resurrect that political zeal in us that unifies us and solidifies us as one people and one nation. The time of life. We need a leader who will bring up all these virtues in our people, who will direct our people to the true sense of patriotism, not for them themselves, but for our country and our people. We need people to make sacrifices to teach our children, not only to go there to lead and, and get money and get power, but we need a leadership that will care about raising the minds of our young people, raising the livelihood and in the, the direction of our young people to, to be prepared, understand duties and responsibilities for the future of life. Tony Commander J. Aaron Kapok by Chess and Talk Show is over. Have a good day, my people. Aluta! Continua. Bye bye.